Good morning, everybody. This morning's practice will be a one hour yoga for strength class. Today's focus will be strength, not only of the body, but of the mind on the heart and the soul. We'll bring special attention to Uriana Banda, which is that gentle binding and cinch of the waist as we breathe. So I will be reminding you of that throughout class. So if you're ready, grab your mat, roll it out, grab your water bottle, and let's get started. Find a comfortable seat in Sukhasana. Easy pose. Close your eyes. And this morning, if you could let your hands rest on the legs with the palms face up, just to invite some good, strong energy into your practice this morning. As we begin to breathe, focusing on first filling the lungs all the way to the top. And exhaling all the air out the mouth. And we'll do this a couple times this morning. Breathing in each time, breathe in deeper. Breathe in deep, deep, deep. Allow the heart space to rise up. Fill the lungs all the way to the top. Exhale, all the air comes out the mouth. And on your next breath in, breathe in deep. Pull the belly in. Let the heart space rise. Roll those shoulders down away from the ears. Hold at the top. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, all the air out the mouth. Beautiful. Tapping into your yoga breath, your Ujjayi breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Finding an audible breath as you exhale, allowing the throat to close and sound like the ocean. Maybe setting an intention for your practice. Maybe your intention this morning is to find more strength, filtering out any negativity, any negativity that may be in your mind or ill feelings in your body. Maybe your intention is for more strength overall in your mind and in your heart and in your beautiful strong body. Reminder as we tap into our breath, pulling the belly button in toward the spine, finding Odiana Banda, that gentle cinching of the waist, gentle cinching of the core, Allowing the spine to rise tall, making you feel engaged, making you feel strong. Try to keep that focus on the core as you move throughout class today. Two more breaths. Gently open the eyes. Beautiful, take a big inhale all the way to the top. Exhale, rain it back down. Belly button still pulls in to the spine. Nice strong core, inhale all the way up. Exhale, return to the earth. One more time, inhale all the way up. Exhale, rain it back down. Pull that belly button in, take a big inhale. Reach up with the left hand and we'll take a side bend. Hold here, pull the belly in, open the shoulder, maybe gaze up. Beautiful, inhale, come back to the top. 
Exhale, release, side bend to the other side. Reach it up, open the shoulder, side bend, pull the belly in. Beautiful. Inhale, come back to the top. Interlace the fingers, press to the top. Big inhale, lift the heart space. Exhale, rain it back down. Inhale, all the way to the top. Exhale, right hand to the front, left hand to the back. Take it to a twist, pull that belly in. Inhale, back to the top. Exhale, release to your twist. All the while, gently cinching the waist. Wherever you're at on this exhale, let's just drop it into a static twist, inhaling, lengthening the spine, exhaling and twisting, maybe looking out over the shoulder. Beautiful release from the twist, take it to the other side. Inhale and lengthen, exhale and twist. On your exhale, release from your twist, come back through center. Sit up nice and tall, roll the shoulders down away from the ears. Beautiful, take a big inhale all the way to the top. Exhale, rain it back down. Back to the top. And on your exhale, hands to heart center. Nice, so we're gonna come up all fours. So finding tabletop position, grounding in, palms to the earth, fingers spread wide, toes tucked under, and again, gentle cinching of the waist as we pull the belly button in toward the spine, allow the crown of the head to grow long, and finding a nice strong engaged tabletop. Press away from the earth with the palms, create space between the shoulders and the ears, Nice big breath. And find a couple cat cow stretches. Inhaling to look up. Exhale as we round to cat. Following your breath. Keep that belly pulled in. Gentle cinching of the waist. Sometimes we tend to let go in cat cows. Beautiful, come back to tabletop. Walk the hands forward just a couple inches. Take a big breath in, pull that belly in. Exhale, allow the hips to bump to the right and just hold here. Tap in, really feel what's going on here. That outer hip stretch should feel really, really good, especially if you're doing this in the morning. Make sure that belly's pulling into the spine, not letting the belly hang out here. On your inhale, come back through center. Exhale, bump the hips over to the left. Same thing. Really grounding in through that left hand, pressing away from the earth, keeping that space between the shoulder and the ears. Pull that belly in. One more breath, and then come back through center. Beautiful, walk the hands back under the shoulders, and let's take downward facing dog. We're gonna start right off in a down dog, but I want you to take it gentle. Um, so a few reminders before you get going. Find your tabletop, pull your belly in, tuck your toes, roll the shoulders away from the ears, ground in with the palms, even weight throughout the palms of the hands. 
and then begin to let the hips rise and keep the knees bent and drop the head. Ground in, pedal the feet, and find your version of downward facing dog. Belly's pulling in. Breathe, settle. Bring your attention and notice what's going on in the back of the legs this morning. Or today, if you're doing this later on in the day. Hmm. Always honoring the body and paying attention, right? All right, on an inhale, take a look at the hands. We're going to take a very slow walk to meet them. So almost as if you're in slow motion, start with the left foot, cross over the right. And then cross over the left. Walking all the way up, rolling up to the fingertips. Reach long through the crown of the head, soften the knees. Big inhale. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, press back up to the fingertips. Reach long through the crown. Pull that belly in. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Exhale and fold. Inhale one more time. Press up to the fingertips. Pull the belly in, exhale and fold. On your next inhale, we're gonna rise up to tall mountain. Beautiful, reach up to the sky, tall mountain. Reaching up, tucking the tailbone, grounding in through the feet, maybe looking up, maybe a little back bend, maybe the head moves back, chin rises, big breath. Beautiful, soften, hands to heart center. Nice. You can have your eyes opened or closed. Just ground in, find where your strength is today. Where's your balance today? Maybe rocking back and forth. Maybe side to side. Just ground in, find your balance, find your strength. Pull the belly in, tuck the tailbone. Big breath in. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, tall mountain. This time, interlace fingers, press to the sky. Exhale, side bend to your right. Inhale, back to the top side, bend to your left. Back to the top side, bend right. Back to the top side, bend left. On your exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we're gonna come on up, chair pose, drop the booty. Pull the belly in, lift the toes, big chair pose, big breath in, exhale, hands to heart center in chair. Grounding right into the earth, finding out where's your strength today? How strong are we? How do you feel? Maybe focusing uh, more inward to cultivate more strength not only in the quads and the lower portion of the body, but in the mind to overcome anything negative, whether it be in mind or in body in this moment. Big breath in. On your exhale, fold it down. Release. Inhale, press up to the fingertips. Exhale and fold. Pull that belly in. Inhale, press up to the fingertips. Exhale and fold. Inhale, press up to the fingertips. Last time we fold. Inhale, tall mountain all the way up. Ground in, rise up, pull the belly in. Tuck the tailbone. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. We're going to move into an early practice balance. 
just so we can compare balance points from beginning to end of class. So with the hands at heart center, shift all the way to the right. Beautiful. And then come to tree pose. Just find your version of tree. Opening the left knee. Both hip points facing the front of your mat. And you're looking down the bridge of your nose at a focal point on the earth. Something that doesn't move. Big breath in. Take the gaze up. Reach up overhead. Maybe look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Drop it down, shift to the other side. We're going right tree on the left. Ground in, hands at heart center. Find your tree. Open the right knee. Breathe. Walk into that dristy, the focal point. Begin to take your gaze up, reach up to the sky. On your exhale, hands to heart center. Drop it down. Beautiful inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale and fold, plant the palms, step back, downward facing dog. Pedal the feet, take a breath or two. Come to stillness. And walk the feet just outside the hip bones. Take a big inhale, we're gonna rise up to the balls of the feet and then we're gonna drop our heels to the right. So the right toe is stuck behind the left heel. Pressing into the earth with the right palm. Really grounding in, finding a dip in the right hip. Big stretch up the side body. One more breath. On your inhale, come back through center. Exhale, drop the heels to the left. Stacking left toes behind right heel. Pressing into the earth with the left palm. Pull the belly in. Really focus on the core as you move through different asanas. Hmm. One more breath. Beautiful. Inhale. Bring both feet back through center. Walk the feet about hip distance apart. Beautiful. Now walk the hands back toward the feet. And just so you know, my bull mastiff Axel is out here with me today. So he may enter the camera's view at any time. Exhale and fold. Press up to the fingertips. Walk the hands back out. We're going to walk out to plank. And we're going to hold plank for three, two, and one. Press it back. Downward facing dog. Big breaths in. On your inhale, shift up to the balls of the feet and we're gonna work our way back to plank. On your exhale, back to down dog. Inhale, shift forward, pull that belly in. Remember, Udiyana Banda, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward. Beautiful, for three, two, one. Drop the knees, release the toes. Hold in low plank, roll the shoulders down away from the ears. Big inhale. Exhale, lower it down. Take the fingertips off to the sides of your mat. Big inhale, peel the chest up, roll the shoulders back, mini cobra. 
Exhale and release. Inhale, mini cobra. Exhale and release. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Exhale and release. Beautiful. Bring the hands to a hover. So the palms are going to hover over the earth. Engage the shoulders. Draw the shoulder blades toward one another. Big inhale. Peel up. Mini cobra. Exhale, release. Peel up on your inhale. Release on your exhale. Two more. Beautiful. Drop the hands. Press yourself back. Child's pose. Take the knees wide, toes to touch. Set the hips back toward the heels. Walk the hands out. And settle in. Big breaths. Keep breathing. Really allow the breath to release. And in this moment, release your strength. Release the core. Relax the lower back. Take two more breaths. Beautiful. Walk the hands right under the shoulders. We'll come back to tabletop. We're going to take modified side plank. Bring the right hand to the center of your mat. And we're going to take those right toes and pivot them behind you. Start turning to your left. We'll take that left leg out. Line up the body. And we'll begin to reach for the sky. Beautiful, nice and strong. Gazing wherever you're comfortable with your neck. And maybe here taking that extra challenge and lifting the toes. And if you'd like to take a moment here, point and flex, maybe circle the ankle. Whatever feels good here. Breathe, pull the belly in. Right, so cinch in your waist, you want it to be strong, but not so strong that you can't take a full breath. On your exhale, drop the toes. Beautiful. Reach up overhead, nice and long. Reach with the toes, reach, reach, reach. Maybe opening, falling back, looking up. One more breath. Beautiful. Come on back through center. Come back to tabletop. Take a cat-cow stretch here. Find what feels good. Come back through tabletop. Press into the earth with the palms. Pull the belly in. Walk that left hand into the center of the mat. We're going to lie up, line up the hand with the left knee. Take the left toes behind us and start to open the right side body. Bring the toes out and reaching up to the sky. And if it feels okay this morning, you can lift those toes. Pull the belly in and breathe. Maybe reach a little higher with the toes. And then maybe allowing the top hand to reach a little behind you, open the right side body, maybe look at the sky. 
drop those toes and open, open, open. Bring the body back through center. Reach up overhead nice and long. Reach out with the toes. Pulling that belly in. Beautiful. Release and turn back to tabletop. Couple cat cow stretches. Come back to tabletop, tuck the toes, find downward facing dog. Pedal the feet or find stillness, whatever feels good. Pressing back through the palms. So your torso comes toward your thighs, you're pulling the belly in, you're lifting the tailbone a little higher. Beautiful. On an inhale, that right leg is going to lift to three-legged dog. On an exhale, bend the knee, and we're going to open that hip. Send the knee toward the sky, opening, starting to gaze out under your right armpit, and drop the toes behind you. All the weight falls into the left arm. Breathe. Stacking the hips. Come back through center, level those hips. Beautiful, we're gonna go right to fallen triangles, so nice and slow. We're gonna shift the weight forward, hug the knee into the chest, and we're gonna take that right foot, send it out to the left. And start to roll onto the right hand, and maybe we reach up to the sky. Big breath. And release. Pull that knee back in. Send that foot right back up, three-legged dog. And step through the hands, warrior one. Find warrior one, reach up to the sky. Lots of clothing issues today. Reach, reach, reach. Big inhale. Exhale, release hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers, press down to the earth. Big breath in. On your exhale, humble warrior. Drop the torso, either to a flat back or all the way to a bow. One more breath. Release the hands, turn the back toes, step back, downward facing dog. And we're going to take this to the other side. Take a big breath, left leg is going to lift, three-legged dog. We're going to bend the knee and open the hip, drop the toes behind us, gazing out under the left armpit. And breathe, stacking the hips. Level the hips, hug that knee into the chest, right to fall in triangle. Take those left toes out to the right. Roll on to the left hand and reach for the sky with the right. Big breath. Exhale, drop that hand, hug the left knee back in, take it back up, downward facing dog. I'm sorry, three-legged dog. Ha, huh. that's where my mind is at today. Nice, step it through, warrior one. Reach all the way up. Reach, 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 maybe a little back bend. On your exhale, hands come behind the back, interlace the fingers, press down toward the earth. Big breath, exhale, humble warrior. Remember our two options here, flat back, or you can take it all the way down to a bow. Big breaths.
One more breath. Release the fingertips to the earth. Step up to meet the left foot. And we're going to take a nice, slow roll up. Bend the knees. Let the fingertips and head and arms dangle and roll it all the way up to a stand. Mountain pose. Beautiful. Roll the shoulders down away from the ears. Find your ground. Find your breath. Find your water bottle. Find whatever you need right now. Maybe taking the hands to heart center, thumbs to the heart. Find your heartbeat. Take a pause. I am strong. I am firmly grounded and I am strong in mind, heart, body, and soul. I am powerful and I am resilient. Big breath in and out. Beautiful, open the eyes if they're closed. Shift all the way to the left. We're gonna find tree pose again. See where you're at. Find your tree. Open that knee. The bent knee opens. Both hip points shining toward me or toward the front. Beautiful, and take your gaze just down the bridge of your nose. Find that focal point. One more breath. And begin to take the gaze up. Reach up to the sky. Maybe looking up. Thank you, thank you for this beautiful day and this beautiful light and my strength. Bring it back to heart center. We're going to transfer all the weight to the other side. Find your tree on the other side. Ground in. If you're on unlevel ground like I am, make sure that you're on a flat space. Step off your mat or to a floor if you're on carpet. And find your tree. Pull the belly in. Open the knee. Beautiful, begin to take the gaze up, slowly. If that's enough, you can just work with the gaze. Maybe we follow with the hands, reach up to the sky. One more big thank you for this beautiful day. Palms to heart center. A little shaky on that side, step it down. And work it out. Shake it out, shake it out. Nice, come back to mountain pose. Big inhale, all the way to the top. On your exhale, chair pose, hands to heart center. Inhale, come back to the top. Reach up, palms up over the head, open wide with the arms. Look up, lean back, pull the belly in, tuck the tailbone. On your exhale, hands to heart center, nice tall spine. Squat down, chair pose. Inhale, back to the top. Press those fingers up to the sky, nice and slow, pressing the palms together. Open the hands, look up, reach back. Exhale, palms come together. Hands to heart center, chair pose. One last time, reach up. Reach out, belly pulls in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Drop the bum down. Hold here. And hold chair pose for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, release into a fold. Inhale, press up to the fingertips. Exhale and fold. Inhale, press to the fingertips. And Plant the palms. 
Step it back, downward facing dog. Pedal the feet, one breath. On your inhale, your right leg's gonna lift, three-legged dog. Exhale, we're gonna step through the hands and come right to warrior two. Gaze at the front fingertips. Walk those toes forward if you can't see them in front of that knee. Pull the belly in, gentle cinch of the waist, right? Nice strong warrior. Make muscles reach out nice and long. Lift the heart space, lift the head, be a proud warrior. One more breath. Take that back hand, sweep it up to meet the front turn. Warrior one. Beautiful, come down a little further. On an exhale, begin to straighten that front leg. Frame the front foot, drop the head. Hop up with the back foot a little, find pyramid pose. Press up to the fingertips. Walk the hands to the center. Pull the belly in. Ah, with a nice engaged core. Pulling the belly in. Bring the hands to the hips, come up to a stand. Roll the shoulders back. Beautiful, inhale, all the way up. Exhale, prayer squat. Hold prayer squat for five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, wide-legged forward fold. Beautiful. Straighten the legs as much as you'd like. Find a sway side to side if it feels good, just for one more breath. Come back through center, press up to the fingertips. Walk the hands to the other side. We're gonna frame that front foot. We're gonna find pyramid pose. Drop the nose to knee. Lots of construction going on around me today. All the neighbors are out working in their yards. Press up to the fingertips. Bend that front knee. We're gonna come on up. Warrior one. Ground in, find your strength. Ooh, big things going on behind the fence. Inhale, reach up, turn it open, warrior two. Remember, open the stance, walk that front foot forward if you need to. Nice strong warriors. One more breath. Cartwheel the hands to the front, straighten through the front leg. Hop up with the back foot, find pyramid pose one more time. Beautiful, press up to the fingertips, walk your hands back around through center. Bring the hands to the hips, pull the belly in. Nice big cinch of the waist, rise up to a stand. Big inhale. Exhale, prayer squat. Prayer squat for three, two, one. Hands come to the thighs and we'll take a shoulder dip. Left shoulder dips down and twist. Inhale, we come back. Right shoulder dips down and we twist. Come back to the top and then release. Wide-legged forward fold. OK, 
Take another breath or two here. Find whatever feels good. And press up to the fingertips. And let's walk our hands back around to, I guess, what is your right. Step back to plank. And we're going to hold here in plank. So whatever your strong plank is at the moment, if it's high plank, maybe you're dropping the knees and releasing the toes and it's low plank. Find good form in your plank, wherever you're at. And we're going to hold. Let's see. See if I can find my stopwatch and go for 30 seconds. All right. Ready? Begin. I'll get you to 20 now because I wasted some of your time. Keep it going. Stay strong. You can also drop the forearms. Come down into a forearm plank. One more breath. Drop the knees, release the toes, and release to the earth. Take the elbows out wide. Drop the head. Relax. Maybe open the legs a little bit. Rock side to side from hip point to hip point. And then just relax. Take a big breath in through the nose. Let it go through the mouth. Beautiful. Take as many of those nice cleansing breaths as you'd like, enough to relax the lower back and the shoulders. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Let's find engagement in the legs again. I'm going to reach the arms out to the corners of the front of our mat. On a big inhale, we're going to lift. Everything lifts. Superman, superwoman. And hold. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Pull that belly in. Five. Don't forget to breathe. Four. Three, two, and release. Big breath. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, everything lifts. Lift and reach. Crown of the head reaches forward. Eight, seven, six, five. Look down the bridge of your nose. Three, two, one, release. Bring the hands to stock under the forehead. One big breath. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Press yourself back, child's pose. You can take the knees wide or together. Your choice, whatever works. Gonna take a shoulder stretch so reach that left arm straight out in front of you and then thread the needle with the right hand right ear to the earth right palm faces up
Other side, reach long through the right hand. Take the left hand, thread the needle under the right arm. Left palm faces up. Ear toward the shoulder. One more breath. Release, bring that left hand straight back out in front of you and find extended child's pose. One more breath. Walk the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Cross your ankles, or just swing your legs to the side. We're going to come to a seat. And find a nice tall seat. We'll find staff pose first. Legs reach out long in front of you, sitting up nice and tall. Sorry I'm fiddling so much today. Fun, though. Fun colors, right? Look. And my shirt is, um, my husband's a big fan of Top Gun, so it says, talk to me, goose. Right? We could all use a little goose right now, right? Talk to me, goose. What's the going on? Sit up nice and tall. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Uriana Banda. Pull the belly in. Let the hands fall to the thighs or to the earth. Please don't hunch the shoulders up toward the ears. Let them fall down and relax. Engage the quads, lift the heels, toes to the sky. Close the eyes and breathe. Beautiful, drop the heels. And take your legs wide. Whatever wide is to you today. Actually gonna spin around. So legs come wide on the mat. Sit up nice and tall. Axel, you gonna come do some yoga? Come here, Axel. And invite my bull nest if I were to do some yoga. Don't, don't let that distract you. Come here, buddy. Big inhale. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale. Walk the fingertips forward. Come to a wide-legged forward fold. Beautiful. When your hand stops, you stop. Drop the hands. Inhale. Reach long through the crown of the head. Exhale. Maybe gravity does some work. Takes you down a little further. And maybe one more big inhale, reach out long through the crown of the head. Exhale, release. Maybe stack the fists, drop the forehead. There's my buddy, come on Axel. Come here buddy. Camera shy, inhales. Big exhales. Nice and slow, walk yourself back to a seat. Buddy, you wanna be on film? Come on, buddy. Hi, buddy. Big inhale all the way to the top. There's my boy, Axel. Exhale, turn. He's even saying hi. And fall into your side bend. Hello, sweetheart. Mm, with your big winkle face. You do yoga today. Mm, you're going to do yoga today. Yeah, he's my big boy. Axel's 155 pounds of fur and slobber. 
Okay, buddy, you can't be in the camera. Pull your bellies in, relax. Nice and slow, walk your hands back up. Hey, buddy, can't chew that stick right there, bud. Big inhale all the way to the top. Exhale, turn to the other toes, fall in, side bend. Nice, remain in your side bend. Oh, looks like Axel's gonna hang out here with us. Not sure if you can see his face or just his rump at this point. Big breaths. One more, big breath in and out. And walk your hands back up, come to a seat. And let's take both legs back out in front of us again. There he is, big boy. All right. Let's plant the feet. And find engagement here. Sit up nice and tall. Roll the shoulders back. Feet are about shoulder distance apart. Palms face up to the sky. Lean back a little bit. Find your shake. I'm just going to ask you to find your shake today. Shake, 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 sonora. Lift the heart space. Lean it back. Let that shimmy take over. Pulling the belly in. Ooh, I'm really on my shake. A couple big breaths. Nice, then come back forward and bring the soles of the feet together, drawing the heels in. And grab onto those toes, round out the back, let the elbows splay out. Drop the head, relax, big breath in. <sighs> Two more breaths. Hey buddy, how about you take this over here? <laughs> nice and slow, come on back to a seat. Beautiful, big breath in. Exhale, take it to a twist. Release, big inhale. And take it to a twist on the other side. Release from your twist. And find your body long on your mat. We're going to roll to our backs. Keep the feet planted. And we're going to find a modified pigeon. So starting with the right leg, bring the right ankle over the left knee. Keep that right foot flexed. Open the right knee. And you can stay here if you'd like. Or if you want to interlace the fingers, take them behind the hamstring and find that gentle pull back toward the body. A couple big breaths here. Release the left toes. Get comfy, relax. One more big breath in. Hmm. Nice. Extend that left leg long toward the sky. White and flex the toes. And take a circle of the ankle. And be sure to switch directions. And then drop that left foot to the earth, followed by the right. And we'll take it to the other side. Left foot comes over the right knee. 
Open the left knee. Keep that left foot flexed. Hi, buddy. And interlace the fingers behind the leg if you'd like. And pull that knee back towards your chest. Keep the left foot flexed, right toes released. And breathe. Extend that right leg long and point and flex the toes. Circle the ankle. And then drop the right foot, followed by the left. Beautiful. Take the arms out to a T. Palms face up. Relax the shoulders. Walk the feet and the knees together. Take a big inhale. Pull the belly in. Actively pull the belly in. Lift the tailbone. Lower back connects to the earth. Nice and strong. We're going to lift the knees. Hover the knees over the hips. Big inhale in. On your exhale, drop the knees to the left, gaze to the right. Engage the core, pull the belly in, nice and strong. Allow the knees to roll back their center and drop them to the other side. And we'll gaze over to the left this time. Engage the core, draw the knees back through center, and give yourselves a hug. Rock side to side if it feels good. Come back to stillness, take a big breath in. Exhale, release the legs long. We'll come into Shavasana, your version of Shavasana. So maybe in Shavasana you're more comfortable with the feet planted. And if so, um, that'll help bring the lower back to the earth. Um, might be a little bit more comfortable, roll the shoulders back, right? Whatever your version of Shavasana is. You can take the legs long, allow the toes to fall, right? Just kind of find your groove today. Take the arms down next to the sides. Maybe take the arms a little wider and then roll the shoulders down and back. And just relax. Take a big breath in through the nose. Let it go through the mouth. Maybe allow the knees to fall in a little. Just relax and release. Finally, release the core. Release the binding. Release the constriction of the muscles. Release the toes, the calves, the hamstrings, quads and glutes. Settle, relax the lower back. Relax the spine from the tailbone all the way to the neck. Maybe a little neck stretch or a roll. 
Release the shoulders, relax the arms. Fingers loosen. Remove any tension from the face. Just enjoy for a moment or two to your own. Please stay in Shavasana for as long as you'd like this morning. Or transition to one side, drawing one arm up under your ear. I'll take another breath or two. And with the eyes closed, slowly transition to a seat. I will meet you in Sukhasana. Finding any last minute organic movement that feels good. Gently open the eyes. Welcome back, my friends. Take a big inhale all the way to the top. Bring it back down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. As you go forward today, my strong yogis, may you have strength in your mind and your words and in your heart, from my heart to yours. Thank you for an amazing class. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.